Sir, the polka dot jam gray paper is in the wild. Gavin on stage this morning at Token 2049, revealing to the world a brand new hybrid blockchain model with the best of Ethereum and Polkadot. This gray paper coming 10 years after Gavin wrote Ethereum specifications in the yellow paper envisions a permissionless environment for parallel blockchains and smart contracts, straddling the scalable and unstoppable computation cores of the Polkadot network. Access to this core time will be granted with the current dot token. But Gavin is careful not to call Jam Polkadot because Polkadot is owned and operated by dot holders. It will be up to them to instruct the technical fellowship to build Jam to halt block production on the existing Polkadot chain and pick back up with what would be Polkadot 2.0. In fact, token holders have about 37 days to digest the 54 page gray paper and vote on building Jam in referendum 682. The Web3 Foundation has also announced get ready for this, a 10 million dot fund for builders implementing Jam. Worth $66 million today and probably a lot more by the time it's all distributed. Implementers will have access to the Jam Toaster supercomputer able to simulate the full production network of Jam. We'll help you unpack the Jam gray paper in the coming weeks. So make sure you're subscribed to the Coos. But the full Jam chain is a couple years away. Today we're dealing with the first pullback of the 2024 bull market. How is Polkadot affected? As we are witnessing the first substantial pullback of this bull market, including a bloodbath in the altcoin sector, let's have a look at the numbers. Overall, in the two days, the market saw a 25% pullback and over 1.5 billion in long liquidations, a stark indicator of the current volatility. But how hard was the Polkadot ecosystem hit? HydraDX Omnipool has been particularly hard hit. With its total volume lock now just shy of $20 million, down from over $30 million a couple weeks ago. However, there's a potential silver lining. The recent execution of Proposal 460 and 461 involving the distribution of 2 million DOT will substantially increase HydroDX TVL soon. The asset composition within the Omnipool has also adjusted significantly in response to market condition, with over 50% now composed of stablecoins, bitcoins and Ethereum reflecting a shift towards less volatile assets. Meanwhile, the learner price has fallen to $39 and the liquidity to volume ratio has hit a two-week high, indicating increased market activity relative to liquidity. In the case of interlay vaults, such dramatic market movements require users to closely monitor their positions. Many have responded by adding more collateral on both days of the pullback to safeguard against liquidations. Bifrost liquid staking TVS also took a significant hit during this period and went down to around 56 million US dollars. Despite these market conditions, the total dot stake within Bifrost has remained in an upward trend, suggesting that users continue to trust the protocol amidst broader market instability. Back to you, Jay. Fascinating. Thank you, Crane. And our coverage this week from Token 2024 is thanks to the Zeitgeist Network and CEO Logan Seether, who secured an early bird ticket for the Kuth. They're offering a 10,000 ZTG prize for anybody who can correctly predict the winner of the Cytel Gaming Academy. Enan's got the details. This week's gaming update leads with final contestants of Cytel and Mythical Academy's incubator program chosen. Smash Ball, Everlude's Chain Food, and Force Knight's Chrono Games. They'll be going to Lugano for their final workshops and presentations, and maybe a pitch to investors could be big. Zeitgeist is also throwing in a 10k Zeitgeist pool for the correct predictors of the final winner. In other news, registration closes for Exiled Racers Axler Cross Chain Racing League. Expeditions coming this week to Everloo, Ayuna wins their parachain auction and will be part of the Mochaverse. The Great Escape rewards pink to participants of the last six weeks of gaming. That's all from me. Back to you, Jay. Thank you, Beanin. We'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.